Hey everyone, my name is Adam Mishan. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach, and today what we're gonna be covering is Mesa de Voce. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. And Mesa de Voce literally in English means mass of the voice. What are we doing when we're doing Mesa de Voce? Mesa de Voce is about starting from a very small sound and then amplifying it significantly. So when we sing in Mesa de Voce, we're singing from a very, very quiet sound. Very light, very held back. Imagining what I like to put to my students. Imagine that there's a baby sleeping next to you and you don't want to wake it. And then with Mesa de Voce, we move into the mass of the voice. Now our goal with Mesa de Voce is to make it as gradual of a increase in volume or a crescendo, which is what that increase in volume is called, as gradual of a crescendo as possible. So what we don't want to have is or where it jumps all of a sudden to higher volumes. We wanna make a nice, clean, clear connection from our very quiet sound to our loudest sound. So the main things to look out for are inconsistent airflow. So if your air isn't flowing consistently, it's gonna be very hard to get a clean increase in volume. So if you're getting where some points it's getting more breathy, some points it's getting less breathy, you're adding more air, you're taking away air, it's gonna be very hard to keep it a very steady, steady tone. So as the first step to the Mesa de Voce exercise, what I want you to do is hold your quietest sound for at least 15 seconds. Let's do that together now. If you wanna sing with more confidence and power, then you have to sign up for my lesson subscription. You get two group lessons with me personally every single week. You get access to all my courses and you get access to recordings of all my one-on-one -on -one lessons with my students. That will help you learn vicariously through them. Click the link down below to sign up now. So that was 15 seconds right there. If you were able to hold that out, kudos to you. Now, when you were doing it, were you able to keep it at a steady pitch or was it wavering a lot? So there, at this quiet of a volume, there's gonna be a little bit of wavering of pitch, but we don't wanna be a massive amount of wavering. We wanna keep it as steady as possible. So as much of a steady pitch as opposed to where it's jumping around all over the place. So if you're noticing that it's jumping around all over the place, practice with this exercise specifically for I would say a good week. Try to see where that leads you. Getting that really, really consistent volume. Now, this exercise goes a little bit further. I want you to do this on every one of your pitches. You can hear there, it's jumping around a little bit on me. We want to try to keep that steadiness in our tone in its most vulnerable state and really the easiest state to hold it. We want to hold that minimum air pressure there and the minimum amount of airflow there. So once you're able to do this, we can jump into the Mesa de Voce. So the Mesa de Voce, we want to slowly increase, not the airflow. So what I don't want to hear is, ah. We don't want that. So that is increasing air flow. What we want to do is increase air pressure. So as I'm doing it, the way that I increase air pressure is by squeezing my abdominal muscles. The more I squeeze my abdominal muscles, the more of a push I'm getting from down below that's going to squeeze the vocal cords together a little bit harder. They respond to the abdominals similar to the way that they do on a cough. So when you go, your abdominals are squeezing intensely and your vocal cords are smacking together and pulling apart. When this happens, they're working together in a reflexive nature. When we do Mesa de Voce properly, we get this same sort of reflexive behavior happening with the vocal cords as well. Now let's move on to other pitches and kind of work through a gradual increase in our pitch. Uh... 
on. You don't need to, vibrato is totally optional. I'll actually try to pull it out of the tone as I do it. So there's a little bit of a skip on mine, but I'm gonna roll with it. interesting it's hard to do this properly without adding any vibrato but I'm gonna try it because some of you may not have vibrato and it's totally not necessary for this exercise So you see that I'm having some spots where it's skipping a little bit. So our goal as we do this exercise is to try to iron those out and work through those skips so that we don't have them anymore in our voice. So first find that nice, light, quiet sound. So there was a bit of a jump. So what I want to do is work through that. So in that way, I was able to smooth over it a lot more. Now, the more you do this, the smoother it's gonna get. So in that way, we're finding it. You gotta finesse it sometimes. See right there, lost it. So now we gotta back up, try it again. No, it's falling out. So there, what happened is, it's falling out of my resonance pattern of where I'm starting from. So where I'm starting from is much more raised. So if it falls out into that mouth heavy resonance, you can kind of hear it. That's more mouth heavy. We want to try to lean from that lighter spot. You see there, it's able to find it in that same pocket. So there again, it dropped out of my mask, out of this really bright forward placement with a little bit of nasality. Again. Still not quite there. Let's see if we can find it. Mm, okay, so what I'm gonna do now, to let you guys know what my thought process is, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to engage a little bit more abs right from the beginning. So in that way, I'm not engaging it in the middle in a very strong way, which then makes that bit of a click in the voice. That's better. Ah, there, lost it. Each note, you gotta refine that placement. So what I'm gonna do is engage a little bit more from the abs right from the beginning. <laughs> lost it there at the end. Try that again. All right, so we're at the male high C right now. So in that way, we're able to kind of step by step work through our entire range. So that was up to the male high C, working through each one of those and increasing the volume. When we increase that volume, we want to try to make it as gradual as possible. Once you've done that and you're able to keep it very straight tone, I want you to then add a little bit of vibrato. You'll notice you'll be able to find much more volume this way. You can kind of attack it a little bit easier, but you want to try to first build it on that foundation of a nice, clean, straight tone. So in this way, we're working through the entire voice at all different volume levels. So this is the Mesa de Voce exercise part one. The second part is about bringing back the volume. Now, I wanted to separate these two. First, make it increasing the volume. Now we're gonna decrease that volume. So we're gonna go. Ah! We'll start straight tone again. Ah! 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 
Try to find that nice, clean, easy release of that. Once you've worked that throughout your entire range, then you want to put them together. So the end goal is to have something that sounds like this. Can be finessed even further to be able to make it as smooth as possible. I'm definitely much better at increasing the volume than I am at decreasing the volume. It comes much smoother to me, but this is something that shows ultimate mastery over the voice. When you're able to hit every single note in your range and you're able to do it at each one of these dynamic levels, right? When you're sliding from that, when you're crescendoing from that quiet place to that really loud place, you're adding every one of those dynamic levels in between. And so so when you're able to do this, you have ultimate mastery over your voice. This is definitely an advanced exercise, so it's not something for beginners to be working on, but this is an incredible exercise for any of you in intermediate or advanced singers out there that really want to fine tune your instrument and really get it to that level of mastery that we're looking for. So I hope you benefited from this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you want to see more videos like this, check out that one right there. You know, you gonna like it. Check it out.